Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today in memoriam of a very special little lady. Her name is Xbox 365. And although the red ring of death claims her life too early, let us not forget the joy that she has brought gamers for over a decade. Goodbye, old girl. It was fun. Yeah, right. If there's a console on this channel that's been broken and there's a video, it's already fixed. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to do to fix your Xbox 360 if it's got that nasty red ring of death using just some common household towels. And it all starts right now. First, let me clarify a couple of things. This isn't a permanent fix for an Xbox 360 with a red ring of death. This really is just enough to be able to get you up and running to find out what's wrong with your Xbox in the long term. The red ring of death is most commonly caused by overheating inside the console. In this case, it has one single portion of the red ring of death. So let's find out together what has caused this issue. This Xbox 360 originally came with the 20 gigabyte hard drive and HDMI support. So in this case, with the HDMI cable connected, it's an E74 error, which is related to what's called the HANA chip. It's the HDMI ANA chip that converts the signals over from the graphics processor on the motherboard to a television readable signal. The most common reason that this becomes an issue is that heat causes this portion of the motherboard to warp, which means that the HANA chip no longer makes solid connection. You can use a solder rework station and try to reflow the solder on all 225 pins or desolder them from the board entirely and then reseat or replace the HANA chip and solder in all 225 pins. Unless you have a rework station and this kind of thing is in your wheelhouse, let's try something different. Let's see if we can't get this area of the motherboard to flex back in shape to the chip rather than the other way around. Let's try out what's called the towel trick. It basically blocks up the exhaust ports on the Xbox 360 and keeps the heat internalized to force the motherboard to bend back into shape using gravity. So grab three towels that you don't mind using for this kind of work. I've got three spare towels that I'm using here. With your Xbox 360 still turned on, but with the video cable removed, start wrapping it in the three towels. Try not to jostle around your Xbox 360 any more than necessary, and certainly leave it completely still once you've got it wrapped with all three towels in order to avoid any damage to the system. There's basically no fire risk here, but you are blocking up all of the heat exhaust area from the Xbox 360, so there is a possibility of damage to the console. For that reason, while you're doing this process, Make sure you stay in the same room as your 360 just to make sure if anything happens that you can address it quickly. The probability of a fire to your Xbox 360 is incredibly low. Remember, it's already overheated in the first place to cause this problem. Let me stress again, this process is only to get your Xbox booted back up from its red ring of death so that you can do further diagnostics and repairs and upgrades as necessary to get it running for the long term and to make sure the reheating problems don't resurface. I can hear the purists right now saying, oh my god, this is going to damage the Xbox. Well, if your Xbox is already overheated and damaged, you've got nothing to lose for trying. And remember, again, the goal is just to try to get it up and running so you can do further repair work and diagnostics as necessary. Set a timer for about 25 minutes or so and leave the Xbox on the entire time. Did I mention to make sure to stay in attendance of your Xbox 360 while you're doing this for safety's sake? Just check it. It's been 25 minutes. With the timer complete, go ahead and unwrap the Xbox from the three towels. Again, try not to jostle the Xbox any more than necessary because the more you jostle it around with everything warm and softened up, the more you have the probability that gravity's not gonna be able to do its job and flatten out the motherboard just enough to get it up and running again. These towels are going to be pretty warm because remember, you've blocked up all of the heat exhaust ports from the Xbox 360. So don't be surprised when you feel things warm on the outside. But let's do some quick temp checks just to make sure everything's okay. 
The top case is 117 degrees Fahrenheit or about 42 degrees Celsius. And the rear exhaust area came in at 147 degrees Fahrenheit or about 63 degrees Celsius. Not too probable to light your towels on fire. Should be okay. Now let your Xbox 360 air cool completely for at least 30 minutes. Don't rush the process with fans, air conditioning, or anything else. Just let it do its thing over time. The longer you let it cool, the better. Once your Xbox 360 is completely cooled down, remove all the towels from around it. Make sure if you disconnected your hard drive to reconnect your hard drive and also reconnect the power cord and your HDMI or AV out cable to the rear. It's the moment of truth. Will this little bit of wizardry turn this Xbox 360 from a red ring of death to working? Let's find out. Wait for it. Wait for it. There's no red ring of death. It's gone. The Xbox looks like it's booting up. So let's check the video output through the HDMI. And there it is. The Xbox 360 has come back to life. This is a super simple way to fix your Xbox red ring of death to get it up and running again so that you can do those further diagnostics and repairs as necessary to make sure your 360 doesn't reheat again in the future. Be sure to subscribe now so you don't miss out on great original content coming to the channel. In the next Xbox 360 video, I'll be showing you how to clear up these heat problems on your system for good. Make sure you check out this video shown here and linked in the description and pinned in the comment below for more great content. Thanks, look forward to seeing you there.